the beauty of hustle, the beauty of work, is it will truly like never let you down. We are literally as people worrying so much about what other people think about us that it consumes our thinking and keeps us in a state of paralysis. Really, like we can't even think about what to do because we're so concerned what our neighbors are gonna think or our family members are gonna think or what are the people in the office gonna think? And it literally stops us from having progress. And I always say the guaranteed recipe for success is to dedicate your entire life to something. Why do we allow other people to have so much control over the way that we live our own lives? When somebody is not moving forward and you ask them, what's your biggest challenge? And they finally really honestly get down to it. The number one challenge that people are having today is they worry about what others are thinking about them. It's okay if somebody mocks you, if someone ridicules you, if someone makes fun of you, if someone makes you out to be a fool, that's okay too. And it's okay if you don't get that compliment that you think you deserve to get. What's happening is when you are posing the question of wondering what the other person is thinking about you, you are activating your mind to search for the answer. And so your mind is trying to reach out and trying to figure out what the other person would think of you. So then your mind is pulling back a whole bunch of scenarios, but none of the scenarios can actually be confirmed. Because your mind cannot confirm any of these scenarios, it is an incomplete request. All right, so what do you do? How do you get out of this? How do you stop this? It's up to you to create the answers. Your mind will never figure out what other people are thinking. No matter how much you try to figure it out, it won't figure it out. So it's up to you to answer four questions. And these four questions is in the search menu in your head. And it's up to you to literally sit down with a pad of paper or get on your keyboard for your laptop or your computer and answer these four questions. Number one, of course they think I'm handsome, right? I know, it's one of your questions. You wonder, do I look okay? Am I all right? And I know it sounds like it's totally cocky or it's totally, you know, like being all about yourself. But if you're wondering what people think about your appearance and you don't decide yourself, you gotta make these decisions what people think of you. So I made a decision that I'm handsome, I'm smart, I've got it put together, I know where I'm going, and this is what people think of me. Because if I come up with these answers and I believe my answers, my attitude, my performance, the way I act around people will completely change. I'll be more confident for sure because what if I'm worried if they think I'm stupid or I'm too slow or I'm too fat or I, I can't do anything right. If I'm thinking they're thinking that of me, well then I'm going to act that way. Does that just make sense? You're already playing a head game with yourself anyway. You're already playing a head game of wondering what they're talking about. You might as well play a better head game. Make up the story yourself. Now I gotta tell you, I am an introvert. And how did I come out of being an introvert so I can be an extrovert? I had to decide what people thought about me. One of the challenges introverts have is they're always searching to figure out what's going on around them. And one of the, one of the things an introvert gets caught up in is what do people think about them? And then they stay quiet and they stay in their shell. But to open up my extrovert side, I came up with the answers. So if you're not outgoing and you're not, you know, productive or doing very many good things in a row or your to-do list doesn't get done, I think this is haunting you. It totally is messing with your head. So since you're gonna play a psychological game with yourself already, it's time to make up your own answers. You have to stop measuring others. You see, one of the reasons why you wonder what they think of you is because you overanalyze people. Oh, yes you do. I totally busted you on this one because if you worry about those other people, it's because that's what you're doing to them. You're over measuring them. So just stop that. The other one is stop being so critical. A person who is really critical of themselves believes that other people are critical of them. And so 
Wait a second, it sounds like you actually started the problem.